how do we finish it? So what we'd be wanting to do is to render the face of the foam. And of course we might want to extend that down as well. And we might want to finish this off nicely. I'm going to increase the thickness of this foam to 100. And then I'm going to bring the thickness of this beam back in to line up with the foam. And then we could render the face of that. So now we've gone from cavity brick to externally insulated thermal mass with the double brick wall. Now that works, but all that brick laying is a lot of work. It's relatively strong, but it's not as strong as it could be. To make this stronger, we'd want to use a different type of material. So maybe we'd replace this brick with a concrete block, which can be concrete filled and reinforced with steel. Or maybe we make this out of solid concrete, either in situ concrete, or maybe we use a lost form type of in situ concrete like Dinsel, or maybe a reusable form. Maybe we use an insulated form, something like Zego or Formcraft. So there's a lot of different potential solutions and we'll have a look at those a bit later. And of course we can see that our footing is starting to look a little bit thin. And so we will also need to extend our footing this way so that it's structurally su supportive for a wall that is becoming increasingly thicker. So cavity brick, externally insulated thermal mass, and then in the next video we'll have a look at different options of how to do this externally insulated thermal mass. Thank you for liking this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell to hear about new tutorials.